I'm reviewing Holly Throsby's After a Time. I want to go on an aeroplane. I want to go where I've never been. Holly Throsby often has been that someone to whisper sad songs to you when you needed a friend to cry with. It's that voice of intimacy and shared solitude, as much as a way of confessing without ever actually giving away as much as you do. This time, explicitly and implicitly, Throsby offers faith and hope, telling us we're not alone, that things can be repaired, that there's no need to go leaving well enough alone because I'm well and enough for you to hold on to. It's in the voice of a mother to a young child that while some rocks may fall by chance and sometimes an avalanche, there is that promise that I'll be mountain, the first place to get the rain. Less straightforwardly, that hope is in the mood of openness and pleasure, reveling in the way that unlike literature, songs can express thought via emotion felt rather than detailed. You could even argue that there is, if not outright hope, then at least the comfort of a well of understanding in her duet with Mark Kozilek, What Do You Say? One of the best things Throsby has written for its emotional punch that rings so deeply true. It's a back and forth between a couple well into their relationship and listening in, you're not certain if they actually believe it when she says, I like it when we talk, what do you think? And he replies, I'm thinking less. No, you say it best. Your hesitation is in the things unsaid, but also in the way the music seems to describe a circle of doubt around them. After a 2011 album, Team, Throsby wondered if she had anything more to say in song, hence the six year wait for this record. But after a time makes a very convincing counter argument to her decision then. Rich with emotional insight, touched by grace and buoyed by trust, it sounds and reads, and most importantly feels, like just what she needed to do and what we needed to have. Ali Throsby worked for you, Daniel? Well, yes and no. Um, I thought a lot of the songs are really beautiful. I loved the duet, What Do You Say? Um, but I loved her voice and then at times I want, just wanted her to let go a little bit more. It's so restrained and it's beautifully restrained in a lot of the songs. But when she was singing with Mark, I wanted her to match him more, you know? That was, that was maybe my only slight issue. I mean, it's, they're beautifully constructed songs and there is a great, you know, there's great themes in the album and, and her voice does have a beautiful tone. I just wanted her to open up, just loosen up. Couldn't, couldn't Mark more. have just pared it back a little bit and gone a little bit breathy in the, in the <laughs> duet <laughs> instead and matched all these I don't voice. know, but as consist, like all the way through the album, to be consistently that restrained is almost hard. It was almost hard to listen to, I felt. I wanted her to open up a little bit more. I, I reckon, I, I really like, I mean, I've been listening to Holly Throsby's songs with herself and with, in other bands for, for years and I think she never sounded more confident. Mm -hmm. Like she owns that voice mm -hmm. and it's, I don't know how they recorded it so well. So it, it's right in your ear. Yeah. So when she's talking to you, she's talking right to you. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, I, I thought it was great. Certainly compared with uh, at the beginning of her career when she was much more hesitant mm -hmm. about the, her voice and her singing. Uh, you could say then that needed her to come out more. But I, I think this is as much as she's going to come out. Um, this, there's not a big voice there. Yeah, um, I know what you mean. I mean, I'm not saying she isn't confident. You know, like I can hear the restraint is controlled. There's mm. a lot of control there. I think that's it. Sometimes I want her to sound a little less controlled mm. is what I mean. It, just to kind of let go a tiny bit. Yeah. Just yeah. a tiny bit. That's, but other than that, I thought it was beautiful. It's, and it's such a minor complaint. It's not even well, no, it's a, a fair, it's a fair point. And that's certainly nothing, there's been nothing like like that from her uh, over mm. the, the six albums of, of letting go. Mm. You know, Holly Throsby is all about control and, and keeping mm. within boundaries. Um, and to me, she does it beautifully and her voice works for me, but it's, um, its softness and, and its tone is not for everyone. Mm. There's, there's a sense that some people will listen to her and say, why doesn't she sing? Mm. Why, why she's, mm. she's half talking most of the time. Mm. I thought uh, Mark Ozilek was a great guest on this because mm. I think there is quite a sun kill moon kind of vibe to the album, particularly yeah. the electric um, parts of the record. Mm -hmm. And it is a more electric record yeah. Than, yeah. than Holly has done for some years. Um, really nice mood throughout the piece. Like I think she sets, I know what you're saying, mm. um, but I think if you like the mood that she sets, then you really like it mm. because it is consistent throughout the record. Mm. And the guitars, the, the electric guitars do match the voice in that they are controlled mm. but also restrained. Like mm. they're, they're exactly as much as they need to be mm -hmm. and no more. It was quite funny as well because this uh, was written in between sort of drafts of her book, Goodwood. Um, and even though she left Goodwood behind and, and, you know, focused on the album and they're not related in any way, 
I was actually reading Goodwood as I was listening oh. to this record, and there are a couple of moments on this record where they were really lovely sort of companion pieces to that book, uh, almost soundtracking some of the, the again, the mood of the book. That's um, cool. Even though I know they're, they're not related. And the book is a fiction book. The book is a fiction yeah. book, yeah, exactly. But um, I guess it comes from the same person, yeah. so there's right. got to be some sort of tie-in or similarity. It's just a very, or, yeah. I'm not sure, like an autumnal Australian feel to both of them, which I thought was interesting. I guess I was a little bit, um, when I read the track listing, I was a little bit scared. There's, um, goes it going for a, no, going to the sea, evening stroll, gardening, like it definitely <laughs> yeah. just seemed like just a things to do list. <laughs> we're going to write an album. First, let me just plan my week. Oh, actually that'll do. That'll do. There's my songs. But, but they were, but they were, those songs were about those things, but obviously, you know, lending a bit of darkness to them or, you know, mm. those, those seemingly, seemingly innocuous tasks mm. can actually have some emotional weight. Well, I think it's a quality Holly Throsby album, which is, generally means a quality album, so I'm giving it four stars. There are other places